A very good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode on the Life Signatures Radio. This is uh, episode number 1,600 and uh, what? 1,655. It is as we are getting closer to the end of 2023. It's been a marathon of a year. And I'm so glad that every single day has had an episode. I've served every single day with an episode on this podcast talking about purpose, productivity, and resilience. And I'm grateful to God for that opportunity to be able to do that. I'm closing this mini-series probably today. We have been talking about the four interesting things about life that qualifies all of us. What are some of the things that we can see in life that everyone has access to so today let's look at the fourth one stay tuned welcome to the life signatures podcast with lawrence namale lawrence is a life coach author and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. A recap will help us here. What are the four interesting things that uh, are about life that qualifies all of us? Number one, success is available to all. That's the first thing we talked about. Please go back five episodes or so back or four episodes back and uh, listen to that. Number two, life is simple, not as complicated as we always think. This is a powerful one, by the way. Go back three episodes and uh, listen to it. And then um, number two, sorry, number three, we said success is around and not way out there. That was yesterday, I believe. Yesterday, yes. Success is around. It is not way out there. Just listen to it and uh, go back to yesterday's episode and listen to that and, and learn something. It was very powerful yesterday, if you ask me. Today, number four, one interesting thing we need to note about life is that there is no one who is useless. I believe that with all of my heart. I First of all, let me just tell you about my beliefs because all of us have beliefs. Some of you, you believe you came from monkeys and all that stuff. Okay, I can never take that away from you. But I do believe that there is a creator who made us. Now, consequently, I cannot, in my mind, believe that a creator will create a useless human being and put them to live on the earth for even one year, for even one day. I cannot believe that. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't reconcile. And therefore, it liberates me to say this, that as long as you see that human being... As long as you see any human being around you, that human being is not useless. Now, listen to me carefully. It doesn't matter what circumstance, what situation they find themselves in. They might be broke. They might be shooting drugs in their system. They might even be a madman in the streets. But I can tell you this without battling an eyelid. I can tell you this with a lot of conviction. That human being you see there, was never meant to be useless, was never created to be useless. And therefore, every single one of us, men, women, boys, girls, every single one of us 
it doesn't matter our color color of our skins and, and all that stuff it doesn't matter our job titles and all these things that we put on ourselves every single one of us is useful in this life every one of us and the reason as to why i say that it's there's a, a lot of reasons but i do believe that we are intertwined and interconnected and interdependent on one another I need someone to fix the things that I cannot be able to fix. And when I am doing what I am supposed to do, when I do those things that I was called to do, those things that I was empowered to do, the things that I have the capacity to do, what what happens? I make this world better and it morphs into someone else who needed my presence to do whatever it is that they can be able to do. So we, we are interconnected, intertwined. I do believe that no one is a freeloader and it's a, it's a heavy statement to make. No one came on the face of the earth lacking the intention of the creator to do a particular purposed thing, to serve in a particular way. And if you thought that I was, I mean, there will will be such a person who was useless, I will challenge you to bring me such a one. And I want to see how useless they are. I want to see, I want to determine, I want to factually, in fact, even scientifically determine that this is a useless human being or oh, this was meant to be a useless human being i'm telling you you will be hard pressed if i put me a million dollars on the table you will be hard pressed to produce such a human being hard pressed i mean i'm telling you people come in different shapes and sizes some are more i mean uh what do they call it they they, they are born without limbs some are born blind some are born deaf some are born with I don't know, two heads or something like that, but there is no one who was intended to be useless. You cannot find a human being. You cannot find one soul that was intended to be useless. So you and I, we are all called instead of being useless, instead of thinking people are useless, I'll tell you this, people are called. We are all called. The Bible says many are called. The many refers to everyone. In my opinion, many are called. All of us are called. We are all have a purpose. Purpose is not a, a reserve of some special few religious individuals out there or some activists and big time visionaries. No, it is for every single human being. And I keep saying that even the madman out there in the streets was intended, intended, intended. He was intended for destiny. I believe with all of my heart that purpose is one of the greatest equalizers of life out there because everyone is a person of purpose. And so, guys, with these thoughts, with these four thoughts, I believe that life can be equalized if we change our mentality to grasp this school of thought. And that means that anybody anywhere will make it in life to the degree that they believe these four things. What are these four things? Number one, success is available to all. Number two, life is simple, not as complicated as we make it. And number three, life and success. In fact, success is all around not always out there it is first of all around i think god did not make a mistake that you were born in africa <laughs> yeah god did not make, make a mistake that you were born in huisero in kenya okay in muluanda in kenya right god did not make, make a mistake that you were born in in trukana in kenya he did not make, make a mistake that you're born in kanungu You understand what I'm saying? In Uganda. It's not a mistake that you're born in Kasese in Uganda. Okay? It's not a mistake that you're born in Busoga in in Uganda. That is where your origin of success is. It is starts it starts from there. That's the platform. It can actually start and end there, or it can start and end elsewhere. But the issue of just staying and thinking that this is not where I was supposed to be and doing nothing about it, you will lose invariably you might lose and then lastly we have said that there is no one who is useless no not one not a single soul i've challenged people find me anyone anywhere in any country that you think they were never intended never intended for anything or they were actually directly intended to be useless 
you will be a lot of hard pressure. You'll have a lot of hard pressure to prove that to me. And therefore, that's the end of this episode and the end of this mini-series. And uh, we will start a new series in the next uh, episode where I want us to talk about, probably we're going to talk about uh, relationships and uh, stuff like that so that we can be able to see what is the important, why people need relationships. And uh, I've alluded to that when I was talking about um, everyone is uh, not, not everyone is, there's no, everyone is useful. And I say that what I do can affect you in, in vice versa and so on. So we're going to go deeper into that by starting a new series talking about the five reasons why we need relationships in our lives. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.